Hello guys, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club! Welcome to another video! And sorry I have not done a lot of videos. I have been... I've been trying to figure out stuff and I've been dealing with some, you know, family issues, but, um... That's about it. But, anyway, I am back. And since my last video, um, I have not had... Um... Since my last video, I had cable, but um, as of this recording of this video, I am no longer have cable. I am a cord cutter now, and it's been two weeks, and um, I absolutely like it because all the shows I watch, um, there's no commercials. There's no commercials on all my shows I watch. Only thing that has commercials is news, which um, I watch shows no commercials with. I love. Um, all I'm using is internet. All I'm using is um, internet Wi-Fi for this. Um, and uh, and I'm gonna talk about um, the only thing that I am subscribed to is Netflix. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about um, six different things, six different. Um, things that you can get to replace your cable. Um, three of them things have live TV and three of them have TV shows and movies on it. Um, I only have one. I only have Netflix. Um, I only have Netflix as of right now. Um, I might be planning on getting another one of them, one of, one of the other three options. Um, but I am really doing a lot of research on what the best things I can get for it. Um, happy baseball season, everyone. Yesterday was opening day for a lot of teams. I am currently a Boston Red Sox fan, so just let you guys all know. And I understand a lot of you guys are asking, well, um, but if you cut your cord, are you still able to watch sports? And so far, the answer I got is no. But I'm looking into uh, I'm looking into a couple more applications, um, apps that you can get to watch um, live sports. So once I figure that out. I'm golden. But the only really sport I really care about is football and baseball. And baseball, um, baseball, I am, I'm watching baseball through, um, through, uh, the MLB mobile thing. Um, but it has a lot of blackout, the red sauce are blacked out. Um, so that wasn't an option. I thought that would be an option, but I have to figure out how to watch sports, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. But anyways, um, I'm going to talk about these six different programs, and the prices for these programs, the prices, and what devices are on there, and they all have different prices. So I'm going to start with the one that I have, Netflix. Now I'm not going to go deep into what 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 ha what Netflix has. I'm going to still talk about the devices, the, the devices, and that's it. All right. So we have Netflix. Here is Netflix. You have no 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 commitments. Cancel online at any time. So if you don't like Netflix, you can cancel at any time. So that's a good. One. All right. So let's talk about. Um, where can you watch them? You can watch them on your TV. You can you can watch instantly or download. You can download Netflix shows um, through your tablet, through your mobile phone, mobile device. I'll make a video uh, separately on how you can download shows. So let's say you are going somewhere with has no no Wi-Fi. You don't want to use your mobile hot mobile da data. You can download shows and seasons. Um, a season of 20 shows is 3 gigabytes. Um, so, a lot of tablets had micro SD. Oh, no, micro SD and just pop it in there. Um, you know, use on any computer. Um, what I do, 
is I download it when I take my laptop with no Wi-Fi. I download it through this, and I use it as a MP4 file through uh, uh, VL VCL. Um, VLC media player for my laptop. Um, when I use my phone, I don't want to have a lot of storage to my phone um, because I don't have a micro SD capability to my phone. So um, I use a USB, I use a light in a uh, micro SD, micro, micro USB to USB and I just plug a USB in there and I wash it through that. Yeah, USB comes out, but big deal. On my tablet, the same way. Um, but uh, I do want ways to watch. Okay. Um, the ways to watch on built in connection. Smart TVs had Netflix already on them um, for you to watch. There is no need to add another device. So you have LG, uh, Philips. Geneville, Sony, Vizio, Toshiba, Shot, Samsung, Pacific, and Hammond. So, smart TV. But this, no, using a smart TV for these applications, not all, not all smart TVs will have all these applications. Actually, there's not one smart TV out there that has all the applications. So, if you want one device that is compatible with all these applications, all six of these applications, there is a device that has all six of them and that works good, that is fast and pinning what you need to do, that I will make another video talking about that device separately. Streaming media. Okay. Streaming media is one of the most powerful things nowadays. And this is what? Apple TV, Chromecast, Apple Fire. Role player, media, and role. Now, I do know that Apple Fire, I do know that Amazon Fire TV and the Amazon Fire Stick both has all six of these. Has all six of these. Netflix, who Amazon Prime, Direct TV now, Sling TV, and PlayStation View has it all of it. Apple TV. Chromecast has, um, Chromecast has all of them, but there is good things and bad things about the Chromecast and Room Player. Um, I do not like the Roku. I'm, I'm going to make a separate video talking about these six devices. These six devices. In my opinion, these six, the, uh, the streaming media player is going to be your best option to do that because three media player are focusing on streaming so their content their apps are focused are made and made for streaming i'm not saying that game consoles set top and blu-ray they not but because it's a streaming media player means that any streaming media application that comes out is they'll come out first on a streaming media player. So that means getting a streaming media player, that means anything that comes out new are going to have you covered. And each one of these devices has the pros and has the cons. Now, because I got rid of cable, I do have one of these streaming media players. And the streaming media player that I have is an Amazon Fire Stick. And we also have a Amazon Fire TV as well. Okay. And there's a lot of more, there's a lot more features that I like on the Amazon Fire Stick as well. Now, I have used uh, Apple TV before too. I have used Apple TV. And there is a reason why I do not like Apple TV. And I'm not going to get deeper into it because this is not what this video is about. Talk about these applications, but I do not like Apple TV. I do not like Chromecast. Well, I like Chromecast. I do like Chromecast. I do like Apple TV. I do not like Roku. Okay. 
and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Oh, also, with these six options that I'm going to talk to you about, there's also one little options that you can watch TV, TV shows, some live TV that has lag. It's called Cody. Cody is a very, very powerful application that you can get on not all streaming devices, not all streaming devices, not all gaming consoles. So I will talk to you about Cody as well. If you slide, uh, uh, I know I'm kind of jumping off topic, talking about this, talking about that. HD available is not available for basic, it is available for standard. Okay? And it is, okay? So basic, um, let's talk about basic, what you get. You do not get HD available. Use your HD screens you can watch on the same time. One, that might be critical. If you have a big house, if you have multiple people in your house who is going to be watching Netflix at the same time, basic might not be the way to go. Watch on your laptop, TV, phone, and tablet is capable. Limited movies and TV shows, yes. Yeah. Cancel any time, yes. Yeah. And first month is free, and yeah. So basically, the first month three is yes on these three. Cancel any team, yes. Yeah. Unlimited movies and TV shows, yes. Yeah. And watch on any devices, yes. The difference between is how many screens you can watch at the same time. And um, HD and Ultra HD. And I'm going to talk to you about the difference between HD, Ultra HD, and screens because that, that could come in very high play for what you are able to do. Okay. Now, what HD is? Now, HD high definition. Nowadays, every single person nowadays has a HD TV. Every TV nowadays that had came out since 2010 is HD, seven years ago, okay? If you have an HD TV, I would not be buying a basic package. One, you don't have any HD, you don't have ultra HD, and you only can watch one person. The basic package is not going, the basic package is not the best so solution for anybody. It might be the best solution if you have a older TV, if you have a older, um, if you have a older TV, like um, a TV from the 2000s or 1990s, and there's only one of you. That's fine if you have that. If you have that. But just know that without having HD available, with buying a basic, because you have an older TV from the 1990s um, or 2000, know that these streaming devices are not going to be compatible with all six of the applications. Because every single streaming streaming media player, every single stream media requires you to have an HDMI. So if you have an older TV that's not compatible with HD available, you not to have HDMI. So if you don't have HDMI, you can't use a streaming device. You can't you can't use any new gaming systems at all. Can't you? You have to use a AV cable. 
you have to use audio and video cables. Uh, the yellow, the red, and the white cables. You have to use some kind of cables. You can't use HDMI. So if you have an older TV, getting rid of cable is going to be very hard because you do not have HDMI, you are limited of what devices you have, and you're not going to get the best picture. So, to get rid of cable, you might want to buy a new TV. And go ahead and buy a 4K TV. Because 4K TVs are very cheap nowadays. I have a 4K TV that 43 inside has been $200. So I'm just trying, you know, I'm just explaining to you guys what the different packages. The basic package is a waste package. They shouldn't even have it. The standard package, you are going to have an HD available. If you do have a TV, if you have a, not an old, old TV, but if you have a TV that is 2000, if you have a newer TV that is 2014 or higher, then um, standard might not be the uh, way to go because any 2014 TVs or higher um, are probably 4K. All the TVs that have came out in 2000, late 2014 till now, all came with use for HD, use for HD, okay. And all the TVs that have came out with in 2000 and late 2015 and I all came out with 4K availability and smart TVs. Okay. If you do not care, if there's not many of you and you do not care about Ultra HD, then the standard package is the best for you. Okay. What is Ultra HD? Ultra HD is not 4K. It's higher is a higher resolution in HD, but it's not 4K. Okay. HD availability is 1080p or higher. Okay. Ultra HD is not 4K resolution. And 4K resolution, guys, is 26, 2066, okay, 2000, it's 2660p, all TVs nowadays still come with 1080p, 240 hertz, and all that, also HD, is better than HD available, actually, I'm sorry, my bad, also HD, it's 1080p, but it's not 4K. HD available? HD available is 720. 720 is HD available. User AC is 1080p. And 4K is 2,066. 266 is author, um, 4K. Author HD. It's 1080p. So, any TVs that have came out since 2010 has 1080p. Any TVs before, from 2006 to 2010, only come with HD available. Any TVs from 2015, late 2015 to now, it's 4K. Okay. Screens available, four. You have a bigger house, more people, premiums will be the best of the way. Okay. So this is Netflix. We have Hulu. Limited commercials, current episodes, and full TV session of TV shows you love most of in and out. Get one monthly fee for $7.99 a month and no commercials for $11.99 a month. Okay? 
I want to tell you guys something. If I'm getting rid of cable, I'm not watching any. I'd rather pay the four dollars more than not watch stupid commercials. That's it, me. You can cancel suggestion at any time. Watch new suggestion screens of your favorite on your favorite device. Limited commercial, no, and no commercial plan starting at seven ninety nine a pop. Okay. Not much information on Hulu. Okay. Um, devices that Hulu supports. Um, gaming devices are all the same as Netflix. Um, all the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U, um, Xbox 360, F um, Xbox One, PS3, and PS4. Um, streaming devices. Um, all streaming devices have Hulu as an app. Um, some Blu-ray players have them, not all. Um, but yeah, that's Hulu. Okay, Amazon Prime. Now, with Amazon Prime, you can get more than just video. Uh, more than just TV shows and movies, you can get a lot more with Amazon Prime. With Amazon Prime, you can get free shipping, uh, free two-day shipping on anything. Um, free fast shipping on over, not on anything, over 500 million items you can get two days free shipping. Which is a very good. Enjoy instant access to video streaming. Over two million songs, so there's also music, book and magazine, original audio, Twitch Prime. If you're a gamer and you like lots like to watch a lot of live streams, get that. All your photos together at once, so you can stream it on a big TV. Get early access, look for Prime, and Prime is only $99.99 for the whole year, and you get all these options. So Amazon Prime is probably one of the best options out of these sites, in my mind. Um, because you get music, video, free day shipping, books, and there's so much more for that price. And actually, it's one yearly free of not um, $99.99. And that one yearly fee is cheaper. It's cheaper than buying. It's cheaper than buying the Hulu no commercial plan, and it is cheaper than buying the premium plan, and it's cheaper, and it's the same price as buying the standard. And you get a lot more. So Amazon Prime is probably the cheapest Australian plan for you is the cheapest and more flexible and more options for you. You get more options, more flexibility for you. Free movies, movie TV shows, music, books, original. It supports all streaming devices. All streaming devices. What up, Tommy? All streaming devices, gaming consoles, all gaming consoles, but the Nintendo Wii. Amazon Prime is not on Nintendo Wii or Wii U. That's a bummer. All streaming devices, all Xbox system, all PlayStation system, but not Nintendo systems. Just keep that in mind. That's the price. Direct TV now. Okay. Okay. There's a couple different options for you, a couple different plans. Now, these next three that I'm going to talk to you about are going to be your live TV options. Live TV. IPTV for you. Direct TV now. Now they all have pros and cons. 
Now, when you look for live TV, you are looking for the major channels. A lot of people like to watch their major channels. Major, major. Sorry about that. People like to be annoying. The four major channels for live TV is ABC, Fox, CBS, and NBC are your four major channels. I'm just going to give you guys a heads up that for the four major channels, for to get all four of these major channels at a reasonable price. Now you have prices from 35 to 70. Now if you're paying $70 a month, plus $70 a month is the same as that price as cable. $60 a month, same thing. 59. 35 is that. But just know you're looking for your four major channels. A lot of people are looking for their four major channels. And this will let you know, all these packages do not have, all these providers will not have all four of your major pack, four major channels at once. So yeah, it's not the best situation for everything, but it is an Actronian to do it. It's not the best Atonia option. With $35, you'll get these following channels. a &E, ABC, ABC, Planet, CNN, all these major channels for $35. For $50, you get all these more channels. Now, for your basic channels, you, ha you have ABC, you have your Fox, but you do not have your CBS. What's CBS? You do not have CBS. For $50 a month, you have ABC, you have your Fox, you have your NBC, with everything is almost compatible, but you do not have CBS. So $50 a month, you are getting 75% of the major channels. For $35 a month, you only get 50% of the major channels by a lot of different options. For $60 a month, you get your ABC. You got your Fox. Do you get your, you got your NBC? Do you get your CBS? Get all your sports. A lot of people like to watch sports. You got your ESPN, ESPN, all these have ESPN. Do I see CBS? I do not see CBS. For $70 a month, so with the $60 a month, you're only getting 75% of the major channels. With $70 a month, you got one major channel. And you have your two main channels. So, all four of these packages do not have CBS. But if you would like to watch CBS, you can always get CBS Access, which is $5 more a month. So, if you are looking to get all four of them channels, um, I will go with the Just Right package. Um, because it has, I think this is the best package for DirecTV, um, because you are not going to get all four major channels on DirecTV now. Um, you have your three major channels, and then you can get CBS Access for $5 a month. Okay, CBS Access is another app that is available for all streaming devices. Uh, gaming consoles, but the Nintendo consoles, um, uh, and 
uh, as well. Okay, so I'll get that. Um, stream, begin, repeat. So if you want to add HBO, it's $5 a month, Cinemap, Stars, Inc. But if you keep adding them, what's the sense of getting rid of cable? Because you're trying to cut down your bill. Let's go with streaming. No annual contract, no internet guide, no installation guide, no SMC, and cancel anytime. Okay? So we're talking about $55 a month to get all four major channels and sports channels. Okay. Devices that DirecTV offers. Um, DirecTV is not on any, is not on any gaming system. It is not on any smart TV. But it is on all streaming devices. The only thing DirecTV now is on is all your streaming devices, your laptops, PCs, um, and your mobile phones. Okay. Let's talk about Sling TV. $30, uh, 30, 30 plus channels, um, 30 plus channels for $20, $20, no contract. You have your, all, you have all your sports channels, ESPN, 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 um, but you do not have any of your major channels, so you do not have one major channel not one major channel on this so that's um, a kind of a bummer no major channels but that is twenty dollars so if you're looking to cut your bill twenty dollars no flat payment of twenty bucks that could be a way to go um you have all your sports channels before um but you know 40 plus channels. Um, Alright, so for $25 more, for $5 more a month, you lose your sports channels, you lose your sports channels, and you only gain, uh, but you, you lose all your ESPN channels, and you, and you gain two, and you gain two major channels you gain Fox and NBC so you do not gain so you do not have sports and I'm gonna tell you guys something I rather I want I want a package that I can watch as much sports as I can for a reasonable price okay Fox and NBC they just have live TV shows and all that I don't like watching live TV shows anymore. Because I can watch live TV shows the next day through Cody. And I done a video on Cody explaining on how that works. Um, but I have not showed you, I have not talked about how Cody works. I showed you how it work, okay? Show you how it work, okay? But I didn't talk to you guys about what Cody, uh, what Cody uh, devices are support, what devices are supported by Cody. Was I'm gonna talk to you about that because Cody is. I will talk about more about Cody at the end of the video. All is for forty dollars, which isn't a bad price. All of these channels. Take a look. $35 is the bake it package. For Sling TV, $5 more, this is the best. All channel. NFL Network is a sports channel, but not all live football games are on NFL Network. Okay? You got your Fox, you got NBC, you got 50%. You get all your sports channels. Get every single one of your sports channels. On that one for forty dollars. 
and truthfully truthfully I want the most sports Fox Sports and CBS Sports CBS and Fox is where all the sports football sports are really played and there's no CBS nobody has CBS on this or that one that is very uh, because CBS is all access that you can pay five dollars ones for all access through CBS. So, go on, watch it. Gotta have CBS. Okay. So, what do I? Well, I think the best package. Oh, this has the NFL. Oh, I didn't see this. This has the NFL Network. If I was going to go with uh, Sling TV, this is going to be the package. Well, see, you know, if I was going to go with Sling TV, I'll go with this this package, all all channels, get all my sports channels, but CBS, and then add CBS for $45 a month. And now we're going to talk about the last Atunian IPTV. Which is, well, did I talk about what devices? Oh, all streaming, all streaming and media devices have Sling TV. The only uh, gaming system has Sling TV and Xbox and only, and no smart TVs has Sling TV. Let's talk about PlayStation View. What is PlayStation View? TV, sports, music, and news live on demand stream up to five devices. That's also a key. Sling TV, does it tell you, are supported by these devices. Okay. They are supported by dumb devices. But, Here's the catch. They supported by them devices. But Kiss Old TV Goodbye, this is TV sir. But I do not know how many Um, I but the only problem with Sling TV is Sling TV you only can use one person at a time. Sling TV you only can have one thing going on on Sling TV at once. And Sling TV, as what I have seen, does not have any ABC. ABC is not on um, Sling TV, but as, or on this. Um, so that's a big bummer for ABC. But uh, ABC, uh, but all right. Let's, uh, but I only think, as I know right now in my research, um, uh, is Sling TV. You only can have one person watching it at one time. Let's talk about PlayStation View. You can get the Ultra. Also slim. Let's talk about that. But also slim. Okay. Now, PlayStation View are supported on the following devices. PlayStation System, because it's PlayStation View and Sony owns it. Sony, me, uh, Blu-ray players, and all media devices, and Sony Smart TVs. Access Slim. PlayStation View, Access Slim, is the first CBS available. So PlayStation View 
CPS is only on PlayStation Review and is also on Access Slim. With a lot of football football fans who look at the cup cable. It, uh, CPS is on that. And it's twenty nine dollars a month. Uh, NBC is another major channel. So fifty percent of your major channels and Thursday night football and Sunday night football is on NBC. Um Fox Network. Oh, that's Fox Business. Um Uh, you have an ESPN, ESPN2, but you do not have ESPNU or ESPN3. ABC on the band, but not ABC. So two major live TV channels is covered and 2% of the football. Course Slim. You got two of your major channels. You got all of your sports channels and um, all your sports channels. But not ABC. Okay? And ABC is very hard to stream. CBS, you can uh, the all access for $5 a month. Um, extra Slim. Um, get all these channels. And also Slim. Guess all elites. The only thing different between Elite Slim and a Showtime and HBO and Slim. Okay. You know, this gives you the best. So you just have to figure out all right, what do we watch on TV? What do we do? What channel do we need? And just know that CBS is is a best of five out. Now, if I was looking to focusing on all my sports channels, if I was looking just for sports, TV shows and movies, TV shows I can wait the next day. But I want live sports. What's the best opportunity for me? Is it PlayStation View? And don't just pick one of these services because based on what device is supported. Get a streaming device. Don't play this on a gaming console. Get it on a streaming device. If I I don't have IPTV, but I've been doing a lot of research. And I do have and I do have a PlayStation and I'm a fan of Sony. I'm a fan of Sony, I'm a fan of PlayStation. But I am not going to be picking an IPTV service based on a name. I want I'm picking it on the quantity and services. I tried a seven day free trial of PlayStation View and I was not I was not happy whatsoever. Maybe I, I need to give it more time. I was not happy. Now I was not happy on the prices whatsoever. Yeah, I do want sports channels and all that. Yeah, I want sports channels. But Sling TV does have all my sports channels. But doesn't have ABC. Um has Fox. And that's okay. You just have to pick a what. Okay. Baseball, I'm out of luck because baseball. Um, I'm a baseball fan. The Red Sox, all my all the Red Sox shows is on Nexon. Not one of these off the Nexon for any package. So baseball I'm out of luck. But for for football, I want Fox. I'm looking for mostly Fox and ABC. That's what I'm looking for. Can't get Fox. Can't get Fox here. So I'm looking for Fox 
And I'm going to add it up. So for $30, I can get all my football for free. NBC. Every actually for $30, all my football is available right there. But for Ultra, as well, for Ultra, there is no Fox available for any one of these. Fox is now Fox is now one of these systems. And CBS is not on this, Fox is not on this, but Fox is on that, and ABC, and put no CBS. Okay, so CBS is not available on DirecTV, only on PlayStation View, but Fox is. So if I have to pick an option, for me, and for what I like, as well, get USBN for what you get. And yeah, some footballs, okay? I'll pick the all channels $40 at CBS, $45 a month. You can't add, C you can't add ABC, but you can add CBS. Can I, well, this doesn't have ABC at, at all. This doesn't have ABC. At all. ABC? Nope. So, ABC is not on there. I want something with ABC. I want something that has ABC. You know one of these do. The only one that has ABC is uh, DirecTV now only has ABC, but does NNBC, but does N Fox. I'm looking for CBS. So if I have to pick this, I will go with the $40 price. I can get CBS, the price that I will go with if I have to pick a device, like I said before, the, the, the uh, IPTV that meets my need for sports needs will be Sling TV. And Fox Sports is, is in selected markets. So you have to you have to see where you live to see if that will come in. Okay. None of the IP TV providers that I have seen on here as I see come with everything I'm looking for. Everything I'm looking for, not one of these providers have it. IPTV is a new thing, but not yet. Okay. Right now, IPTV, right now, cable is going down right now. Right now, right now, cable is going down. And IPTV is coming up. But ITV is right now at a 40% and 60% at IPTV. Give IPTV a year or two, and cable is going to be out of market for a live TV. The only reason why cable and satellite providers are still in business is because of their live TV function. Not because of their TV shows. It's for the sports and their for the sports and their live TV and it's easier to use. Once IPTV gets their butt together with live TV and all the channels, 
for a decent in price, cable is going to be out of the market. Given a year or two, cables will be cut down. People have cable still for live TV, sports, and news. And news, you can watch news for free right now. You just need to know how to do it. This is a great Artonian for live TV, but doesn't have everything that everybody's looking for. The four major channels, like I said, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, none of the package has all four of them. There is packages that has three of them, but for a very high price. You can get CBS access up there, but CBS access, you cannot watch live sports as of right now. Hopefully they change that. Okay. But IPTV is coming a new thing. But IPTV is not there. And cable is still there. Cable is still 75% in. It's losing percentages. Once these IPTV companies realize, hey, if we get more channels, we can get cable down. Direct TV and Dish Network are going to be out of business. And actually, Dish Network owns Sling and Direct TV now. Direct now owns Draft. So, Satellite Provider already owns these two. Place Interview, Sony. And Hulu is coming to some of the two. And Xfinity. A lot of companies are going to IPTV. There's no Satellite and Cable Providers are going to be out of business anytime. Once IPTV comes up, give it a year they can. Okay, so let's talk about um, one more one. Let's talk about Cody. What is Cody? Cody can also replace your cable. Well, Cody can't replace your cable 100%. But Cody is an open source. Home Fair. What does it all? It does music, movies, TV shows, and photos. Okay? It is free. Devices that Cody supports, and it's not all streaming devices, you can get Cody on a Fire TV. You can cast it to a Chromecast. It is not it is available for Xbox and available for PC and available for Android. Not available for any Apple applications. TV shows. You can get TV shows, but just know that some of the TV shows Don't come in through Cody, and some do. And just know that Netflix Hulu, well Hulu, Amazon Prime, well no. Hulu TV shows goes on Hulu the next day. Okay? Amazon and Netflix, they go by seasons. Okay. Cody's TV shows goes up the next day, but sometimes the streams, sometimes, sometimes you can watch it, and and um, it's harder to find stuff. It's harder to use. Well, it's not harder to use if you're trained. Um, it takes a lot more time to get TV shows up than on the other provider, but you can. Anyways, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. Thank you for watching how to, the another opportunities on how to get rid of cable. Now, if you are streaming a lot, I do recommend a uh, uh, internet speed of 40 megabytes per second or higher, and at least five download speeds. So, um, just know that when more people are connecting to your internet less your bandwidth. 
So for a three people getting rid of cable, three people watching it at once, I do recommend getting at least 30 megs. One person you can go with two, 20. Um, Cody to run successfully, Cody to run on devices, I recommend uh, 15 or higher. Uh, Netflix and all the other providers, 10 or higher. Uh, megabytes per second. Um, if you do not know what you are getting for your speeds, you can check your speeds. You can go to Google and type in speed test. And the best speed test for your community is going to be speedtest.net for you. Okay, and it'll find who your internet provider on here. Once you hit that, it's uh, connected. Okay, now if you are streaming a lot, um, I recommend using a LAN cable if you can. Not if you can using a LAN cable. Now my speeds are about. 50 megs, but I am paying for 60. Um, I am paying for 60. Now the reason why I have less than the speeds that I'm getting is because it's eight everybody home, and everybody's home, more people are at home around my neighborhood. In the morning at right 11 o'clock on a Tuesday on um, during the week uh, weekdays, I'm getting 65, 70. But that's why there's nobody. Okay, so check your internet connection. When more people are on it, less it goes. Now, if you um, like to watch live TV um, news, your provider will have a news and it says newcast. Just click that, watch it, and you can mirror it to your TV through devices. Now, if you're looking to mirror, there's no mirror. Uh, just know that mirroring a PC to any streaming devices um, are is is a very hard comp test. Uh, the